Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley B. Deck. Thank you so much if you're tuning in for the first time and if you're an OG, thank you for coming back. Today we are teaming up with RPG Hair and we are going for a little pixie cut vibe. Now, if you follow me, if you watch my videos, you guys know a pixie cut really is not my comfort zone, but because I switch my hair literally every other day, I do like to sometimes get out of my comfort zone and you know choose styles that I normally wouldn't because I feel like even if if it's not something that I personally would wear every day I want to kind of give you guys a range of different products and styles and shapes and colors and textures and all of that and I can't do that if everything is like 22 inch deep way right so today we are going pixie cut and it does have the natural curly baby hair it's absolutely gorgeous and again it does come from RPG hair so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial it's very easy and beginner friendly again we're going with the curly edges and you'll see the vibe of that in just a moment that looks really good it looks super natural but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the video you can find all details in the description box and without further ado let's get right into it okay ladies jumping right into it here I am color matching the Ruby Kisses foundation this is the powder and it's the color like 13 I was thinking it was gonna be too light so I was just trying it because I have it in my stash and I never use it I went ahead and used that to go ahead and tint my lace and this is the star of the show this is our beautiful wig from rpg hair she is a short curly pixie cut bob in the length eight inches she's 180 percent density and she has the kinky edge hairline this is a look at the inside construction of the cap yes you do have to cut that little piece of excess lace in the back i'm going to start off by tinting the lace underneath with that same powder i used on my uh, wig cap and this is what it looks like once you tint the lace now we can go ahead and put the wig back on and you guys can see how warm the lace looks. Now this is a look at the back of the wig and as I mentioned this is a pixie cut so it definitely has that nice perfect pixie cut cut and layer in the back of the wig. Here is a close up of what those kinky edges look like along the hairline. Now ignore the brown that is from me tinting the lace. Typically I don't do it because the Virgo in me likes things to remain clean and it does make the hair look a little bit more powdery that I tinted the lace but it does help you know the overall end result as far as making sure the lace matches my complexion. Um, here I am just cutting off the excess lace around the ears. You want a snug custom fit so if the lace overlaps your ear always cut what overlaps. Now with the kinky edges it's absolutely gorgeous but I did want to thin it out and make it just a little bit more natural and a little bit more dainty. So I'm just taking a pair of tweezers and I'm just holding or like rolling that um, kinky curly edge like forward so it's kind of flat and I can focus on like the root of the edge or the root of each hair if that makes any sense and as you guys can see I was able to trim it down very easy it wasn't like the knots are like nice and thin so when the knots on the um, lace are super thick it takes a lot of effort to like pull each strand out but because they were thin on this it was very 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 easy to pull out what I needed because again I wanted it to be kinky curly natural but I also wanted it to be a little bit more thin it's a custom fit, so you can definitely do what you choose. Now I'm going to go ahead and bond her down. This is going to be a semi-glueless install. And what I mean by that is we are using that even product to go ahead and bond her down. But this is not a glue by any means. So it's not going to leave a heavy residue on your lace. It's also not going to leave it bonded down for like two weeks straight. This is something that's going to last like two to three days max if you don't get it wet. And should you get it wet, like at the end of the night, you can go ahead and spray it down with water. And it will come right up and you'll be able to repeat the same steps the next day so now put the milk belt on for it to um, continue to bond down and I'm just showing you guys what this one will look like as a half up half down and also as a center part I kind of wish I would have did the center part because that actually looked cute in person I was like no the side flip over but in person looking at the video I'm like yeah I should have did that center part that would have been really cute now I'm going to take the Camille Rose, um, I forget what this product is called, but I'll have it in the description box. And this is a product that's a staple in my girl's hair because it's a great, great product at defining curls. Um, I also did saturate the hair with regular old water to make sure that I could stretch that product and really get in there and define those curls. You guys know I love the Dimmin Brush for clumping the curls, so I'm just going all over to clump the curls like I like. And so far, so good. 
Now that the hairline has had time to dry, we can go ahead and remove the excess lace. Whenever you are adding a product to your hairline to um, bond it down and then you use that elastic band or melt belt method, you put the melt belt on top and you typically you would give your hairline time to air dry. But in this case, because it was so quick to style the wig, it wasn't completely dry. So you guys did see I did pick up a blow dryer to go ahead and dry. First, I tried to do it with the fan, but then I got lazy. So we ended up with the blow dryer on a cool setting and that definitely did the trick. Now I'm just stepping out the parting and making sure that it's perfect. Again, you can go half up, half down with this one. Center part, side part, angle part, no part. You can definitely do a few different options with this one. You can even add like two pigtails, like really cute or like cornrows in the front. Definitely take advantage when you purchase a wig like this and get your money's worth by just doing different styles and just, you know, doing it up if you will. If I did not mention, this one is very affordable. It's only $99 on the site, which is an amazing price. It's definitely a steal, so you definitely want to check it out while it's still available. This here is a um, concealer from Too Faced, and I'm using it as a lace tint along the parting. And then I'm taking that same powder that I used in the beginning to tint the lace as well as my wig cap, except this one is about two shades darker. I think this one is like 15. And I'm just going along the hairline to make sure that the hairline matches my complexion. And everything with this one was super simple and easy to install. Okay, ladies, so we are done with this look. I got some new earrings that I wanted to... Um, I've been meaning to wear. I just have it. So I think this is obviously the perfect opportunity to wear them. Since this is an eight inch pixie cut, I just feel like it would be awesome to wear um, some earrings that kind of are long and are like hoops because typically um, I only wear studs and I've been trying to get back into earrings because if you know me or like you knew me growing up, you guys knew no. That I wasn't a studs girl, like growing up in the 90s in LA. I just wasn't a studs girl. Um, my mom had me in hoops literally as a baby. And I've worn hoops my entire life. Um, it wasn't until I became like an adult and a mom that I just put in a pair of diamond studs. And I just haven't, you know, just giving myself the time to like switch up my earrings or wear hoops from, you know, the babies wanting to tug at your ears. And so I got these cute little... Um, they wouldn't be considered hoops because they're not shaped like a hoop. But they are a vibe. Valentino, super cute. And this is my first time wearing them. My makeup definitely needs to be touched up. But let me just go ahead and put on some lipstick and a little bit of powder. And then we'll just talk about what we accomplished today. Because I think it looks really cute. Okay, I don't know what it is. But I never like myself with lipstick. I like my lips to look soft. almost like put product on them and then take it off so that they look hydrated and lightly tinted but we are done with the look this is a eight inch pixie cut courtesy of um, RPG hair I'm gonna start off by showing you guys the packaging and the goodies. So this is the box and you guys already know, I've been working with RPG hair for some years now. So I really like um, their wigs. It's always a great quality. And then for the specs, this one is of course a natural color, eight inches, 180% density, and it's a curly bob. So majority of that we already knew, but I like to go ahead and let you guys know what we're working with. And um, then as far as the packaging goes, they did include a nice little dust bag. They also included the Flyaway Balm. This is pretty much a wax stick, which typically is what I use when I do my Dynamic Duo. And then they did include an adjustable um, wig band. And you can attach this inside of your wig to just give it a little bit more grip. And then, of course, they also gave a little edge brush. Super nice. Now, as far as the wig goes, of course, I was a little bit nervous. I'm always nervous when it comes to, like super short like I will do a 10 inch bob a door bob and I can slay it but when it comes to picky pixie cuts I always get a little bit nervous because I'm not quite sure if I'll be able to execute or deliver and I think I did a great job now of course this isn't my everyday look so to some people they may be like you know you look better with long hair, but that's the thing about it is because I changed my wigs so much. Imagine if all of my wigs were um, 22 inch deep wave body wave or 
you know, straight. I feel like you have to be able to um, step outside of your comfort zone and kind of just master it. So every time I get a wig that's like a curly or a pixie or a color that I'm not used to, something that is straight out of my comfort zone, I like to take on the challenge of being able to see if I can execute it and, um, you know, what products I like because eventually you'll master it. And even if it's not like your look, again, I think it's great to try different things. For me, I definitely think that this one looks a lot better with hoops on me than just um, my studs. But of course, to each its own. I really love it. And again, it's a great little switch up for me. The texture on it is very, 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 very nice. It's a very beautiful curly texture. I do feel like I can cut these little pieces right here not too much but just like with natural like your um real hair sometimes when you cut your hair um not cut it but like trim your ends it'll make the hair look a lot healthier than and fuller than to like holding on those ends so i'm trying to learn to um adopt that concept with wigs because a lot of the times hair will naturally have a like a natural layer to it at the bottom and sometimes cutting it blunt um, or just giving it a nice little trim will just make it look healthier and fuller. I think that did a huge difference, even though it may not look it, like it to you. There is kind of like a layer to it. It is an eight inch bob, but you guys can see there is definitely some dimension to it. And I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Oh, but I'm going to let you guys go. Be sure to check this wig out. Direct link in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.